Good morning. That's right, I'm up before noontime. Hard to believe, I know. Certainly my wife doesn't believe it, but that's irrelevant from when you're gonna see this video. I'm here twofold today. First of all, I'm about to show you the cutest, what I believe to be the most adorable 747 pilot uh, on the planet. Secondly, I wanna talk about the proliferation of this kind of TikTok misinformation that seems to go unchecked and unbridled and just goes super viral in every sort of different niche and industry. My name's Kelsey and I'm a 747 pilot. This dude's name is Kelsey. He has a YouTube channel uh, where he talks about plane stuff uh, and he's awesome. He wears his captain shirt. Which means I fly this aircraft and this one and sometimes even this one. If you love aviation or it terrifies you, my channel 74 Gear is for you. I mean, the man is posting absolute bangers. 747 pilot reacting to plane things. Perfect recipe for YouTube. And Kelsey being a smart mother did what any smart person would do and somehow found a way to integrate TikTok reactions uh, into his YouTube channel and had the biggest banger of his life three weeks ago here at this terrible advice on surviving plane crash TikTok roast. Because for some reason, there is a niche on TikTok where young teenagers feel the need to explain what to do during a plane accident. Right here, set the altitude to around 4,000 feet. Even though they have no fucking idea, and I thought it was hilarious, and Kelsey is too nice to these kids, so I'm here to kind of clean up his niceties and teach these kids a lesson about not to be fucking stupid. I mean, that's a full-time job. I recently saw this video. Both pilots are unconscious. You're the last hope to save a plane from crashing. Here's what to do. And I realized a new series called TikTok Roast needed to be created because some of y'all out there are giving terrible advice when it comes to aviation. TikTok Roast. Coming up. I mean, just look at the cute little captain's button down shirt. He's beaming. He's absolutely radiant. And I love him. Protect him at all costs. Recently, I've been getting a lot of DMs on my Instagram from people sending me TikToks asking me if this is good advice or not from different TikTokers. Newsflash! If you're ever on TikTok and someone is trying to give you advice, say it with me. It's probably bullshit. It is bullshit. That's absolutely correct. Thank you, Nigel, by the way. TikTok has become this landfill of misinformation because for some reason teenagers found out that you can just act convicted about something without any real knowledge of whether or not it's true and you have a chance to go viral, which is the end all be all of what teenagers want to be doing these days. If you can go viral, you can become a TikTok star and then make a bunch of money for doing fucking nothing. This somehow bled over into airplane safety and Kelsey's here to set them on the straight and narrow. Seems these TikTokers who have little to no common sense or knowledge about aviation are giving you tips. <laughs> So before you Imagine watch that. one of these videos and do something that could kill me while I'm on a plane, watch this video. There you go. If your plane is about to crash, I'm about to save your life and make you millions of dollars. Okay, first of all, right out of the gates, you can already tell this girl's about to just lay on a whole bag of horse shit. Millions of dollars. <laughs> all over your face. Let's see what she has to say. We there. are all told that if a plane is going down, to assume this position, but you do not. When oh. you're in this position, okay. your back is going to break, including your spine, and you're going to die immediately. That's because if you survive... <laughs> yeah, if you assume the safety position and your plane crashes, instant death. Your back's going to break. But if you listen to this advice I give you, it's going to make you a few... Millions of dollars. If I have a plane crash, you can basically sue the airline for millions and millions and millions of dollars. And you're going to win that. So instead of getting into this position, you're going to sit up straight and put your feet on the seat in front of you. This picture is not too accurate, but it's, it's hard to find on Google. So more realistically, you're going to want to put your feet up like this and your back is straight. Like where the fuck, where, where is she getting this information? Like is she, is she just absolutely coming up out of all of this out of thin air? Because if so, kudos to her. If she deadass has like researched this and really believes this shit, uh, I don't know what to say. Doing that, your legs will probably break, but your survival rate is a lot higher. Data to support that, please? Anything? They literally want you to die so you don't sue the airline. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Look at Kelsey's little subtle expression when she when she drops that little nugget. You die so you don't do the airline. Let me translate his look into what he actually wants to say. No, bitch! The fuck are you talking about? The airline doesn't want you to die, bro. What the fuck? What are you saying? If it happens to you, hopefully it doesn't, but if it does, you'll see the flight attendants take the position I told you. False. The one thing they are right about is you put your oxygen mask on first, then you can help other people with their mask. We're gonna hope and pray this never happens, but if it does, just remember the position. 
and sue that airline, get your millions. Guarantee you this fucking went viral on TikTok because a bunch of absolutely smooth brain morons in the comments were debating on whether it's right or not. Social media is a virus. I hope we all die by a fucking comet strike tomorrow. Um, so that's mostly all wrong. When someone says <laughs> this. That. When you're in this position, your back is gonna break, including your spine, and you're gonna die immediately. I mentioned before that I was probably a C student in high school, but if someone says they broke their back, I don't know what else they would be referring to except for their spine. I mean, maybe your shoulder blades? Ooh. I don't know what else there would be back there. Boom, roasted. Nice one, Kels. <laughs> break your back and survive. It literally happens all the time. But you know what's harder to survive? A projectile going through your head. <laughs> so if you're in a crash, now your very important head is sitting up here, bouncing all around for parts of the plane to fly through. It's definitely going to ruin your day. Now let's talk about this thing she says with the flight attendants. If this ever happens to you, hopefully it doesn't, but if it does, you'll see the flight attendants take the position I told you. That's also wrong. A lot of times flight attendants' backs are facing the front of the plane. If you've been on a plane, you know- Yeah, whatever, Kelsey. Why would we trust a pilot, okay, when you, like, basically work for the government, probably? And this is TikTok, where we don't trust anyone except other TikTokers because we're forming a coalition of young teenagers uh, to stop the spread of pilot misinformation and teach people how to really survive plane crashes so we can sue the airlines, which are probably owned by the government. And then, and in that way, we'll start a revolution to take down the patriarchy. So share and like this video um, to spread the truth about airlines. And a lot of times there's not places for them to put their legs up in front of them. And there'd be no reason for them to put their legs up because their back is facing the forward part of the plane, which means that would be where the impact would be. It doesn't make any sense. See, the reason I love Kelsey is because he's educated. He's a pilot. He's been doing this for a long time. And he has the patience to sit there and explain to these kids why they should stop spewing this bullshit on the internet, where if it was me, I would just be like, shut up, you dumb idiot. Oh, but Leon, they're just kids. They don't know. I don't give a fuck, man. I'm tired of these kids thinking they can just run around talking some dumb shit for clout online. We got to start disciplining our kids so they shut the fuck up. Now, this point about being sued, it's either going to be you suing them or your family suing them. It doesn't matter. They're getting sued either way. This is America. We love to sue people. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, the land of the free, home of the brave, country built upon litigation. I will personally sue your ass. Your fucking 19th separated cousin could probably find a lawyer that would help him sue an airline if you died. Listen to your trained cabin crew who are trained in crashes that involve aircraft or your flight crew that are giving you instructions. Listen to them instead of TikTokers. Yeah, I don't know, Kels. Did my flight attendant get 25,000 likes on TikTok? I doubt it. <laughs> Fucking loser. I'm gonna listen to the TikToker when it comes to flight safety. Here it is, baby. Put the landing gear up, boys! We're hitting the water! Okay, so Kelsey completely unraveled that girl's argument. Uh, I appreciate his patience and his poise. I've been doing this on the internet long enough. I no longer have either of those when it comes to these stupid kids on social media. It can't possibly get worse than this girl, but let's find out. Okay, first, go back and watch her video. She is 100% correct. Here we go again. Jesus Christ, I was dead wrong. Ugh. I think the only thing worse than these purveyors of baseless misinformation are the echo chamber people that are like, Ooh, yeah, right, retweet, like, she's dead right, yeah, listen to her, this is why, I also want likes and views. Okay, first, go back and watch her video, she is 100% correct, and her advice is very good. Look at his face, I he's can... like, absolutely not, bitch. First of all, take off the stupid fucking filter! If you want someone to take you seriously, get the filter! Your goddamn fucking oh boy, it's not even noon, and I'm up to like 190 over 100 BP right now. It might not, I might not make it the day. This could get, this could end very ugly for me and my family. Oh, I'm a little dizzy. All right, I'm okay. I'm okay. okay. Confirm that airline companies want you to die Jesus whenever you get into a plane crash. Lord I used to work for an aerospace pl uh, company where we would make the airplane seats. Did you? And I can tell you right now that every single seat on the airplane, including first class and business class, are made up of metal frames, tiny screws, double-sided tape, and Velcro, and zip ties. There is no actual, like, sustainability to those seats. Bitch, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck?
fuck are you talking about? The inspections that we would have to go through after seats were complete were for cosmetic looks only and functionality, not for survival rates. Those seats wouldn't even withstand a car crash. A minor one. Great news, most pilots don't get into car accidents while we're flying a plane. Been flying for many years, have had zero close calls even with cars while flying a plane. So that's great. All right, Kelsey's got a little bit of sass though. He's kind of good at that passive aggressive, shut the fuck up idiot. I'm just, I'm a little more forward and uh, impatient and loud. If that were to hit your car, it would pretty much have zero impact on me and, and well, it suck for you. Yeah, okay, so this seat is med made out of metal and uh, zip ties and a few other things. What does she want that seat to be made out of? Uh, adamantium, adamantium. Have you seen Wolverine? I need my airplane seat to be made out of indestructible steel that in the course of a crash will transform into a pod that will safely protect me from any projectiles. And anything other than that means the airline's trying to kill me. Can we for a second stop? and just zoom out the insanity that we're even able to fly. Like, we're talking about like a multi-ton hunk of fucking metal soaring through the air at six, 700 miles an hour, carrying hundreds of people at a time. Insane progress in the engineering of human flight. And we have these fucking dumb nut TikTokers are like, oh, airlines want you to die because they make their seats out of metal in screws, in Velcro. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know who these two girls are yet that we've seen, but they're where are your parents at? Daddy, pull the funding, get them out of college, bring them home, take their phone away for a month. Do something. It's bad. It's bad out there. Well, I didn't have watching a 747 pilot react to fun pilot things as my new favorite YouTube channel on my bingo card this year, but here we are. This guy is adorable. He's smooth. He's well-mannered. Uh, just everything that I am not. So uh, I appreciate you watching me with him. One thing I think we can glean from this video is never listen to a TikToker and check out uh, Kelsey here at 74 Gear because he's a legend. If you need advice on how to survive a Leon Lush video, well, just tuck your head between your legs as if you're getting ready to survive a crash landing. Nuzzle up that nose right in your taint a little bit. Give it a <laughs> little sniff, then stand up out of your seat. Let your head get lopped off by a flying projectile as the plane crashes. Pull down your pants while there's still a little bit of blood coursing through your body and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me i would appreciate the hell out of it and if you subscribed if you knew that would mean the world we'll see you in the next video deuces, deuces. 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 deuces.